So hi guys, I've been meaning to film something like this, but I've just been postponing and postponing and postponing. And this is Vlogmas, yeah. Happy New Month. This is the second of December, and I'm currently filming this video. The day before I post the video, or the day I post the video, either ways. So this video I'm going to be filming is a What I Eat in the Day series. It has been long coming. I've been getting. Why have you not been filming your school videos and stuff? See. Final year has been final year. Life has been life. In life it has honestly been a lot to juggling and everything, but that's beside the point. This video was filmed when I was broke. When I started cooking, just knew that, okay, that period I was broke. So putting a price tag on most of these things is going to be quite difficult. The ones I bought food, definitely I'm going to put a price tag. But the ones where I did not buy food, I can't really put a price tag to that because most of these things I bought them from house when I was in my bulk shopping. So I'll link the video of that my bulk shopping. Yeah, so do check that out. So basically, I'm going to be doing what I eat in a not in a day, what I eat in a week, putting a price tag on these things. Once I can put a price tag on them, the ones I cooked, I'll just basically take you guys through the process. So if you know this something you're going to be interested in watching, then let's go ahead and see the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. On this particular morning, Goldie Mon was my cereal of choice because my fruit and fiber was almost out, and I just felt like, okay, why not I eat Goldie Mon? I bought this golden one from the house when I was coming and I also bought the milk from the house when I was coming. So I can't really put a price tag on this, but I just know that it was a big size golden one and I got it for I think 1500 And yeah, I was already late for class, so I was kind of rushing at this point and at a point in time, I had to start multitasking because I couldn't afford to be late for class on a Monday morning. Yes, this was actually a Monday morning. I don't know about you, but center fruit has been a lifesaver from time immemorial. 90% of the times when I feel sleepy in class, I just take center fruit. So I always have it in my bag and I just take the center fruit and it takes away the sleep from my eyes at least 60% of the time. By the middle of the day, I was already hungry and I knew that I wanted to stay back in school so I could copy my notes in the library. So I just bought Capri Sun, Mini Me and Pure Bliss. I'll put the price tag there and I took it to the library. Mind you, eating snack in the library is a crime. <laughs> but I hid it in my place and took it to the library. And by this time, my head was already turning on your own. I needed to eat something. So I ate my Capri Sun and my biscuit and I was fulfilled. Like I honestly felt very happy here yeah, because food is life. Nothing You cannot tell me otherwise. By that evening, I was back to being hungry and I decided to make pancakes. Still on my managing my money journey, I decided to make pancakes. And this pancake mix, I bought it from the house. But the pancake mix was not sweet. It was not sweet. If you guys have used this pancake mix before, please let me know because it was not sweet. I literally still had to add everything. So what's the point of the pancake mix? I literally added baking powder, sugar, milk, egg. So what then is the point of the pancake mix? Now, it's not only flour that was different. I just know not to buy it next time. Maybe I'll just stick to Hungry Jack because this one, it was not mixing at all. So basically, I just mixed everything together in the pancake. Please, nobody should come for me and tell me my pancake making way is different. See, I just wanted food to eat at this point. I was so, so hungry. So I was not even caring about the steps. I just mixed everything together. And I'll show you guys what I mixed here. It's just... I showed you guys what I mixed chasha. But I just basically mixed everything together. And that was that. See, most of the pancakes burned. See, I know, and I'm not even mad about it because, bro, my gas was very high. Either my gas is high or it's off, and it was very annoying. So, half of the pancakes burned. But, can we just take a second to admit that the effort it actually takes to cook, the, it, the result is never worth it? Like, I literally spent how many minutes in the kitchen here, yeah, struggling and struggling, and then I ate this food in the next how many minutes? P.S. Pancake and stew or pepper sauce slaps like a motherfucker. See how me after cooking this food, I was looking like my problem. So the thing is, my eating schedule is very messed up because some days I eat as much as three square meals, meals and some days I eat as little as one square meal a day. My eating is very fucked up and I plan to do better on that. So my morning food basically is strictly cereals. Like that's why when I was buying cereals, I bought a lot of cereals. So I do not get tired of cereals. So that person that saw me buying a carton of milk, you understand why I always buy a carton of milk. 
I don't get tired of cereal. So I just like to fluctuate the cereal. So every morning, I strictly eat cereal. So either I eat oats, golden corn cornflakes, and then the days when I'm late for class, which is a lot of days, <laughs> I'm always most times late for class. But the days when I'm late for class and I can't eat something, then I have to get to school and buy something. But I've been on this kind of healthy living where I just avoid sodas and stuff. It hasn't really been working now because I'll end up going late for class and end up buying food in school. But let's see how that goes. This day, I opted to take oats simply because oats was... I mean, it's not that serious. I'm like, let me take oats. And I bought this store-bought oats where they measure it. And I thought the taste would be different, but it actually came out very nice. Oats is usually too light, so I take it to granola. The reason why most days don't eat oats is simply because of the stress it takes to make it. But most times, it ends up being what is. Please, people that eat oats alone without any other thing, don't do it with your head achy or something. Oats is so light. What is fit from people? Now they try you. Oh, like, <laughs> now they really, really try. This morning, I was already rushing. See, I'm always rushing for class. I've come to realize that 90% of the time when I'm vlogging, I always rush for class. So, yeah, I was already rushing. I just mixed. I don't put sugar. I don't take sugar, if you've noticed. Except when I'm frying pancakes. In series, I don't really use sugar. So, I just put milk and then I put the granola on top. And boy, oh boy, this oat was hot. It was sincerely hot. I did not envisage it to be this hot and it burnt my mouth. Like, the way it burnt my mouth there, it shocked me too, safe. Guys, I'm so hungry right now. My neighbors are playing music. Please ignore. I'm so hungry right now. Like, I'm seeing double literally. So, I was complaining to my friend that I was bored of everything I was eating. And she told me of this combination that slapped. She told me to try out chicken suya and mishai. That's bread and egg. So, basically, the aim is using the frying the egg with chicken suya and then eating it together and boy oh boy that combination slaps on its own chicken suya is a gift from heaven i don't know whether this is actually chicken suya or whatever it is but they sent it to my school and it retails for a thousand naira but the combination slaps like i actually ate this that night and i couldn't finish and i ate it the next morning see don't come for me i i didn't even want it <laughs> see i'm a case this suya was a lot and i couldn't finish it so i ate it that night the ones I remember as the suya, I left it and ate it the next morning. So they used someone's NYC paper to wrap it for me. I'm so sorry. And by the time I ate this food, I was fine. I was good. I was no longer seeing double again. Then I remember that I had tangerine that I had in my fridge earlier. So I snacked on that. And the tangerines I was the tangerine was actually quite nice because this is tangerine season. And it has been a while I tried out tangerine. So I was happy about that. This morning, I ate fruit and fiber, and I eat a lot of cereals. When I said that, believe me. I didn't go to school these days. So I actually had a lot of time to cook, so I made stew and I made rice. And yes, the rice burnt. It doesn't look burnt there, but let's all live the fake life together. I actually ate rice, stew, and plantain cheese. And this combination slaps. You should try it out. It hits. Like, when I was eating it, even the, in the... Cooking is really not worth it to, but we are not ready for that conversation. But when I was eating the food, I just knew that the food actually slapped. That evening, I decided to spoil myself a little, so I went to Chef Joe, which is a place in my school. I bought cake, I bought popsicle. That cake retails for a six fifty. The popsicle was five hundred, and I just basically ate that that night, and like that was my dinner that day. I know I earlier said cooking is not worth it to. Mm -hmm. But that was when you have money. If you are broke, stick to cooking. It saves lives. It has been saving lives from time in memory. I went to get a bottle of my money in being and I was broke to stupid. So cooking saved my life pending when I had my allowance. So I'm actually grateful for cooking, but it's not worth it. The stress that it takes to cook and the result is like I'm spending two hours in the kitchen, one hour in the kitchen, and eating the food for just five minutes or ten minutes, and boom, I'm done. But if you are broke, stick to cooking. So this was basically a sakwa edition of what I eat in a day. It's actually not sakwa because I have most of my things. I brought them from house. So, but this is when I don't have money. So I'll go and do a fake life edition. Maybe I'll go and borrow money. <laughs> I'll do a fake life edition of what I eat in a week. As a this was not up to a week, basically. But I just filmed this clip little by little. And I just I added everything together. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.